Hey guys, Moredi again here from Skive. Every time you guys see us out in the world, you know we are going to do some demos. We're going to do some uh, maybe explanation of something and maybe show you how something works. So guys, today we are going to look at uh, some pumps and we have a Solamax submersible pump over here. So guys, this is a solar submersible water pump. So it doesn't use any kind of electricity. Maybe that's why you're seeing some batteries over here and a solar panel over there. And uh, what we are going to do, we are going to do a little demo about this. But unfortunately, on the day of the shoot, the sun decided to go home. So we, are, we don't have any sunlight, uh, much sunlight, so to say. And uh, that's why maybe we've decided to, to pull out the batteries, since the, uh, the pump can use either the solar panel directly, or it can use the battery packs, eh, which are also DC. So guys, I'm going to maybe walk you through what you can do uh, when you buy the pump and how to connect it. And uh, as you can see over here, I have, uh, I have a mtungi that will act like our own well, since uh, this is a possible pump. Eh? We'll also be doing, we'll also be featuring another pump, a surface pump, but also a DC pump. So you'll watch our next video over there and uh, you'll be able to watch the surface pump also. Uh, or maybe before I set up the batteries, maybe I can say what this particular, you know, uh, pump has or what it is and maybe show you what I'm setting up. So guys, this is a solar, uh, submersible solar pump from Solamax, but I believe all the DC pumps or all the solar pumps, submersible pumps will act kind of the same way. And uh, maybe I can read some of the specs. It's 24 volts. This comes in 24 volts. I haven't seen a 12 volt submersible pump, but I know there are some 12 volt uh, service pumps. But anyway, uh, probably they can be there in the market. You never know. But this is a 24 volts. It's a 250 watts. Uses 250 watts. Uh, the current is 8 amps, and the outlet is 24 mm. 24, 25 mm. 25 mm. I think what one itanga three quarter something like that. And uh, it has a maximum height of 50 meters, like in as a Pelekamaji 50 meters. So guys, this is a submersible pump. There's something they've under, underlined up in, in red. And it says, do not turn, do not run the pump dry. Like Hufai could connect the pump without any water. And as you can see, it's a direct connection, meaning it has its own regulatory kind of uh, mechanism over there, whereby you connect it directly to the uh, to the panel or to the solar. You don't need to have a lot of controllers and all that. Uh, the pump also comes with this long cable. I think it's 18, uh, around 18 meters of this cable uh, that when you sub, okay, we can run it, it will be, it will be able to, to be maybe a little bit sufficient, but if it's not, you can always extend it. This is at 1.5 millimeter cable. So this is the pump we're going to be showing you a demo. And uh, when you open up in the box, when you buy it from Skive, it's a Kuaivo. That's the only thing that you'll get from this particular pump. So guys, I'm not going to do like a professional kind of a connection. Remember, I'm not a plumber. <laughs> so uh, I might not be having all the kind of technical tools to, to do the plumbing work for this. So guys, I'm just going to use a house pipe for the demo. I'm not going to do something so sophisticated. Maybe the plumbing works won't be all that sophisticated. Uh, since I, I don't have a, maybe an actual well for that, but I'm going to connect it like that and then I'm going to dip it inside and then we're going to put the water back since we don't know what to waste water and also we don't have plenty, plenty of it also <laughs> to do the next, the next video. I've told you guys the sun decided to go back home. We are not going to connect the solar panel directly. But I'm going to do that maybe once the sun is back. But for now, I'm going to use these two particular batteries. It's a, I have two of them, 100 uh, amperes each, 12 volts of each. But remember, the pump is 24 volts. So I'm going to connect these ones in parallel to get my 24, my 24 volts.
So guys, this is a, maybe the most critical point because uh, for solar products, anything to do with solar, uh, remember it's direct current, eh? current, eh? direct current. So you should always be very, very careful when you're doing the connections. You should never, ever jaribu to connect and yet you're not so sure of the polarities. So polarity in the like to muhimu to hapa kwa easy. If you kikosea to your polarity, everything is gone. Eh? In a choma, in a choma, so to say. Eh? So guys, there's a pump. As you can see, working perfectly. And the flow rate is good. Now I'm going to flow rate for Asana. You see the water has a lot of pressure. It's going to pressure mob. As you can see up. And it's running perfectly. Unfortunately, we cannot... Uh, That's why we are. Let me just show you where I disconnect. The water stops. Eh? Niki connect to Ivikidogo, the pump starts working immediately. As you can see up. So guys, when you analyze if a solar pump can uh, maybe be pumped using, uh, can work with batteries, yes, it's very easy. And the connection is not that difficult. The pump can be used for quite a number of... Uh, I mean, uses. Eh? You can use it for a fountain. You can use it for so many things. You can use it for irrigation. I think they are best for irrigation. So whenever there is sunlight, in answer to punish you, maji you kwa tanks, and then maybe later you can use the force of gravity too, uh, to 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 work with it. So the the pump can also be connected directly with uh, with the solar panel like that one, and uh, you have to get a 24 volts one. You have to get a 24 volts since the pump is 24 volts uh, but it, it can also be advisable to have uh, batteries uh, as a backup or maybe as a plan b uh, when you're having the pump but you can easily install the solar panel and the pump directly for example if you have a well you can install the pump dani and the uh, and your panel overhead and it can always pump water whenever there is there's some sunlight so guys, maybe that's it for the demo for the submersible water pump. Uh, let me try to get can get some some solar, some sunlight, some uh, maybe some energy generated from the panel over here. Remember, we have just demonstrated that uh, you can use a battery pack uh, as a as a backup for the for the for the for the pump. And uh, but it doesn't mind the, the kind of uh, maybe amperage that you have. It will still work with a small amperage battery as long as it's a 24 volt system. Although the difference comes in uh, maybe how long will you be able to use it if you're using it as a backup or you're using it as your main source. Maybe charging using AC, which maybe there's, there wouldn't be a lot of point of doing that. But uh, maybe the packs, the, the, the size of the pack will only determine how long the pump will will. Uh, will run for but it can work with any size of battery pack it doesn't mind uh, the size of the battery eh? and guys as you can see our pump is functioning perfectly the flow is quite good and it has a lot of pressure Reduce your expenses uh, by using a, a DC pump. So guys, that's it for the submersible pump. See you in the next video. Make sure you watch the surface pump video for the surface pump also. And see you in the next video.